Hello, sweet souls. Happy Monday, March 6th. Um, this is going to be a full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. Um, if I exceed the 10 minutes, which I'm sure I will, follow me on YouTube. And um, I'm going to add all the links. So we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Um, anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for a greater good. So I was up in the middle of the night last night and I was praying about the collective. And what I heard was keep walking. And they showed me an image or a vision of a narrow dirt path illuminated by light and a dark forest on each side of the path. And so what they were saying is you have to keep walking, no matter what you hear or what you see coming from the darkness on either side. Because your light, that light is your guide, that light is your protection. If you should wander off your path to go into the darkness, the dark forest, then to investigate, then you are lowering your vibration. And so they're saying keep walking. Then I heard, um, don't respond or react. So the other thing um, that they brought to my attention is the first thing that someone in a low vibration will do um, to manipulate you is to tell you there's something wrong with you. You need to get help um, suggesting you have a mental illness or that you're crazy. This is the number one thing a low vibrational energy will do to try to get in your head to manipulate you. So be mindful of that, okay? So um, I've already got chaos and conflict out here. So something's, something's getting ready to pop off. But don't worry because the universe is here giving you a helping hand, okay? Let's get one more, thank you. It's only a matter of time. It has to do with a karmic cycle. Okay, it's only a matter of time. So let's see what's going on with this. <clears throat> what do you need us to know about keep walking? Keep walking on the path. Keep walking. What do we need to know about keep walking? So this is someone that has wounded you very deeply. This is someone that, that gave to multiple, gave you bare minimum. This is someone from your past, a past life soul connection that is going to come back in. They're going to come back in. They're very narcissistic, toxic, controlling, dominating. They're going to come back in and try to persuade you to have a new beginning with them. Keep walking. What is this about? Yeah, come in with apologies. Say that they're gonna be loyal this time. But it's emotional manipulation. It's emotional manipulation. It's a tactic. Yeah, because they're still juggling. They can't help but juggle people. Keep walking. Yeah, they're just trying to get you trapped in your mind. What did I say? Keep walking. Don't react and don't respond. Yeah, they're gonna create illusions that you are meant to be with them. You are meant to be in a family dynamic, that you're meant to build with them, but it's an illusion. This is not what they really believe. And even if they did believe it, <clears throat> they don't have the capacity to be loyal. Keep walking. Look at that. There's nothing stable coming from that person, nothing. Keep walking. Look at this. They made a decision. They want to come in and, and feed you more lies. Ace of Swords in reverse. So in March, for many of you, there's a past life soul connection coming in to try to get in your head, to try to use emotional manipulation, to persuade you that you are meant to be with them. It's a lie. God doesn't want you to worry. You will have victory. This is a burden you've dropped, <clears throat> sorry, a long time ago. You've dropped that burden a long time ago. Yeah, this 
person is a coward could also have Leo placements attached to a Queen of Wands reverse, a Jezebel energy. This person could also have a Jezebel spirit attached to them. This is a sexual demonic energy. God says, don't worry. You keep walking your path and you are protected, okay? You're protected. Yeah. The sun to the justice. Truth will be illuminated and justice will be served. You will have your justice, okay? For all that was done, keep walking. Don't react or respond. Don't react or respond. Yeah. God's given you enlightenment. Anything that comes out of this person's mouth that's coming in is a lie. Just assume it's a lie because that's what they're showing me. It's a lie. Yeah. This karmic connection is over. The lovers to death is over. There's no reason to revisit these, this player low vibe energy. There's no reason to repeat it. They just said, keep walking. Just keep walking because what's coming in quick is a true divine partner that will be divine love. This is someone that will be honest, kind, loving, and loyal, okay? Don't waste your energy or lower your vibration don't react and don't respond, okay? Wow. Do you know this person? Like I said, they juggled. They went to a third party, possibly a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, thinking that was going to be everything, everything they ever wanted. And here now, they're stuck in a karmic cycle. Stuck going round and round because they didn't learn the lesson. They didn't do what was right, receiving justice. And here you are, proud and confident, doing way better than you've ever done before, loving yourself, being grounded and stable, knowing your value and worth. The confidence is just a confidence you never had. You were thriving without this person. Keep walking. Yeah. The devil holds on to your energy. This past person has demonic attachments. They are so toxic. It's but it's more than that. I mean, this is this is evil. Really evil. Just keep walking. Keep moving forward. God's bringing better for you. Yeah, look at this. Can't make it up. This person's nothing but chaos and conflict. They will continue continually in every connection that they make try to put their partners in competition because their ego they're so insecure they need to have people fighting for them and you have no desire to fight for a liar a cheater and a snake so remember i told you that god is going to bring your match to you look at this listen to your intuition get connected rely on god's guidance multiple wishes are coming in a commitment, a marriage, you being your true authentic self and, and partnering with your divine match. Someone God's bringing into your life that is your match. Yeah, moving on into peace in your life. Let's get from another deck. This is just crazy. And you guys, you know I never throw my cards like this. I'm too Virgo to throw my cards like this. But this is the energy I feel. It's just so, it's like desperate people try desperate measures and that's what I'm getting this devil here is desperate so be careful protect your energy keep walking don't react don't respond uh, stay in the light because the light is your protection the light is your guide and don't don't try to fix anyone they have to go to God they need to go to God God's the only one that can help them okay what else do we need to know about this reading? Four of Cups, you are the missed opportunity. Keep walking. Nine of Wands, yeah. And because you're a missed opportunity, now they want to fight. Now they want to cause issues, problems, because they can't let you go. They couldn't do right by you, but they can't let you go now. I mean, that's just sick. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse because wherever they went, there was no love in it. 
there was no love in the situation. And now they're realizing they gave up the one person that they had love for that loved them. And isn't that the way of it? What else do we need to know? Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, given to multiple. They can't help themselves. Their ego, they have to feed that ego. They're so insecure. They have this Jezebel energy, this sexual entity attached to them. They can't, they can't be faithful. Not even if they wanted to. Yeah, karma, judgment reverse. They are receiving massive karma for what they did to you, namely. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Fiery energy. This Aries, Leo, or Sag is receiving karma for what they did to this Queen of Wands. Someone that's beautiful, that's passionate, that's driven. Yeah, they took too long to make amends, to be accountable to their soulmate. And their soulmate now, you, you've been removed. You moved on. God guided you to move on. Again, the strength sideways. This person feels like a coward and could also be Leo. Leo placements. This person is watching you work with your community. They see that you are enlightened. You're this hermit energy, the three of pentacles. You help others. Yeah, and this person has failed to apologize for the injustice that was done to you. They've failed to be accountable to speak the truth. It's only the truth that will set you free. Only the truth will set you free. And as I say that, the King of Swords came out in this deck, which is truth. Speaking the truth. Yeah, look at this. Until you speak the truth, you will be heavily burdened for the rest of your days. Ten of Wands. Heavily burdened the rest of your days. An uphill battle. Things falling apart left and right. What did I say? Things falling apart left and right. Tower. Until you speak the truth, you will be heavily burdened and receiving tower moments the rest of your life. You see I'm shuffling. This is spirit. Yeah, they thought they were moving on to victory. What was highlighted to what they went to was their own insecurities, abandonment, rejection. The feelings that they gave to you that you weren't wanted, now they feel they aren't wanted. You receiving your wishes brings them no peace. They're unhappy about you receiving your wishes. Being in this Nine of Pentacles energy, privileged lady, beautiful, handsome, abundant, magnetic, independent, confident, and they put you in a third party situation. And now, again, they can't sleep. They're haunted. They're tormented by what they did. Keep walking. Don't respond and don't react. It's all a lie. You poured into your own cup. You loved yourself. And because of that, you have happiness. You have victory. No, you have peace. You have peace and victory. Sorry, I think I misquoted that other card. Six of swords to six. Oh, no. I didn't. So, yeah, you have victory. You poured into your own cup. You loved yourself. So, God brought in happiness and victory for you. Anything else? Four of Wands and a committed relationship. One that will be equal. Twin flame soulmate. It's in the lies that they spoke. They cannot speak the truth. They have, I'm telling you, demonic attachments. They cannot speak the truth. Still plotting and planning. One of these plots and plans. 
how they can come in and speak half-truths, get away with not telling complete truth, and still be a player. I mean, come on. Keep walking. Keep them blocked. Two of swords, keep them blocked. This person is a fool, and the cycle is closed. Be in your Queen of Pentacles energy because the Divine is bringing your match. King to the Queen of Pentacles, you are the true Empress. You are. God's guiding you. You have nothing to worry about. Don't, don't react, don't respond, and keep on your path no matter what is said or done in the dark. God doesn't want you to worry about it. You know? Let me see. What, I'm going to pull from the deck that I made and see what comes out. What do we need to know about this? Keep walking. Wow. Look at this. Narcissistic, toxic, devil energy. Addictions. Alcohol, sex, gambling, or money. Alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, or money. So this person is all kinds of twisted. They've gone so far in the wrong direction. Doing death rituals, praying for your death. I hope not, because we return to center all that's sent to us. And if you're doing death magic on someone, then your life is, is going to be over. There's a water sign involved. We did see that. Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Water sign is, in, is involved. She's a spiritual hater. You are releasing karmic debt. All that you've been through, you have been releasing karmic debt. Read carefully any documents you sign. You have abundance, financial stability, and blessings headed your way. Communicate through music. This person tries to communicate with you through music. Working with others to harm you. That's just sick. You are divine feminine. True empress. High vibration. Whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We did see the Knight of Wands. So I'm going to put that on that side. Fire sign connected to Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who's a spiritual hater. And this fire sign is narcissistic, toxic, and devil energy, doing death rituals, and they have addictions, drug, alcohol, sex, gambling, or money. Okay. This fire sign sleeping with the enemy. They also have a toxic workspace. They work with a lot of low by people. <sighs> karmic connection. They're stuck in a karmic cycle. Karmic connection. You see all that flu? Victory will be yours. It like went airborne. <laughs> Victory will be yours. You're an earth angel and you have a special mission. Wow. There will be exposure. Truth will come to light. You are worthy. Make I am statements. Your angels want you to know you are worthy. Wow. Social media stalker, troll. I think that's both of them. Talk to your spirit guides, ancestors, and saints. You have divine love, a soulmate, a twin flame headed your way. Yep. Deception, betrayal, and liar. You are a light worker, a healer, an empath. One more. Somebody's going to be losing their job. Loss of job, fired. This could be the fire sign or the water sign, but they're going to lose their job. There's karmic family members involved. Loved ones that passed are helping you. You definitely have ancestors um, protecting you from this energy, both of these energies here. So you don't have to worry. Just keep walking. Don't respond. Don't react. Fake wearing a mask. 3D ego. We already saw that. 
a new opportunity is headed your way. A new job or career. Wow. The bottom of the deck, we have Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. All right, guys, this is the reading I have for you. Maybe I'll grab Cancer and Oracle real quick to see what else comes out. What does a collective need to know for their greater good? What does a collective need to know for their greater good? Let go. Not every puzzle is yours to solve. Let go and give it to God. Your creativity is at an all-time high, or it will be soon. Give gratitude. You are a leader. You're meant to lead. They said stop overthinking. Just go for it. When an opportunity presents itself, just go for it. Trust in God because you are gifted. You do have what it takes. It says trust your gut. You're guided and protected. Yeah, you went through an awakening. You see things different. You are different. Uh-oh. It's time to move on. Your intuition is correct. Yes. And then don't settle. Dream big. There's more for you. The bottom of the deck is alone time. Spend time alone. Get more connected. All right, guys, I love you. This is the reading I have for you. I hope you have an amazing Monday. Bye-bye.